So today in our daily reporters jumping to conclusion news. We yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got a made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. So the Ravens had a practice today and Lamar Jackson was not part of it. And that had a lot of people very concerned, like, whoa, what's going on with Lamar? And then that concern got escalated by 20 times because guys like Adam Schefter, Ed Werder, they started reporting on it, but they started jumping to conclusions. Now, Adam Schefter, and his, his credibility is through the roof. So it actually freaked some people out. And he said, Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson wasn't at practice today. Jackson said yesterday that his hip was sore from his touchdown flip. And there were actually people that were questioning why he did that touchdown flip. Lamar Jackson, are you crazy? Why would you put yourself at risk like that? Why would you do that? Why would you walk into the end zone and be happy that you scored a touchdown against the Chiefs? Why would you be celebrating that, Lamar? For what? And then Ed Werder. He went on, he quote tweeted what Adam Schefter said, and he said, so much for those who thought it was ridiculous to question the wisdom of one of the game's great players, speaking of Lamar Jackson, to put himself at risk so needlessly. So these guys, they, they, they took something that wasn't nothing, and they tried to make it something. But then all for Jeff Zrebic and Jameson Hensley to let it be known that Lamar Jackson, he's just dealing with a stomach bug. That's it. Just dealing with a stomach bug. And this is something that Lamar Jackson, that he goes through at least once a year. It happens every year. Every year. But because it's Lamar Jackson and because of the timing of everything, especially with the whole touchdown flip, and it's, they, they, they want to take that and, and run with it and try to make it something that it's not. Skip Bayless, even the other day. And I like Skip Bayless. He's funny. I think he is very entertaining. But even him, he was like, Lamar and John Harbaugh talk about Lamar's backflip into the end zone. Should he keep doing this? Now on Undisputed. <laughs> These people be wild, man. But you just, you got to laugh, man. People have got to lighten up, especially when it comes to Lamar Jackson. You've got to lighten up. Shout out to my guy, uh, Mike. Mike, I, and I said this was the this was Ravens flock tweet of the day. Jeff Zrebig said, Lamar Jackson is dealing with a little stomach bug. He should be fine for Sunday. And then Julian said he must have ate something wrong. Cause yeah, he got a stomach bug. He must have ate something wrong. Cause we all saw the video of him in Hollywood walking out. They had some little carry out. I don't know where they got that carry out from, but they got it from somewhere. And maybe that was it. I don't know. But it was my guy Mike's response that was everything. He said, Yeah, the Chiefs. <laughs> so he's saying, Julian said, you must say something wrong. And Mike said, yeah, it was the Chiefs. So, yeah, I, I'm sure they, they may have upset his stomach. Or actually, I think he upset theirs. But anyway, especially Tyreek Hills. But anyway, this just goes to show how polarizing of a figure Lamar Jackson is. This just goes to show that no matter what he does, even, even him getting a stomach bug, it's going to get blown out of proportion. People will jump through hoops. They will walk on crates. They will jump through the fire. They'll do all this crazy type of stuff when it comes to coming up with these and creating these narratives about one Lamar Jackson. But they will take little, they'll tiptoe when it comes to actually getting facts. And with Lamar Jackson, another thing that's that's continuing to be just spewed out this week, really over the past 48 hours, has been contract talks. Uh, there's been a reporter saying that, oh, um, there's this unanimous, again, a unanimous, well, not unanimous, and anonymous. I'm over here. I'm, I'm over here thinking of Lamar Jackson's MVP. Oh, silly me. There's been an anonymous NFC executive or NFC GM, some NF, NFC front office guy who said that look, I, I feel bad for Eric DaCosta and the fact that he's in this situation where he may have to pay Lamar Jackson. Oh boy, what a, what a bad situation that is for Eric DaCosta and them, huh? 
And, and that same reporter was saying that there are people that feel like Lamar Jackson, he shouldn't be paid. He's not worth it. There's still questions about Lamar Jackson in the playoffs. And there's still questions about his play. And it's like, what? Like, anytime somebody, they question what Lamar Jackson should be paid, if Lamar Jackson should be paid, my response to that is, do you remember these Ravens? Without Lamar Jackson. Remember how they were looking before Lamar Jackson got thrown into the lineup? Even before he was even drafted. These Ravens were not looking like anything nice. And then even look when he's not out there. Imagine these Ravens right now, this roster right now, with Lamar Jackson. Oh yeah, let's go. And without Lamar Jackson. It's a completely different team. It's a completely different just everything. It is not the same. And it's not even close. This guy's impact on this team is just monumental. It just it, it's, it's crazy. It's so crazy how powerful his impact is on the offense and the defense. Like everything literally goes through him. He is the team. And obviously not saying that other people on the team don't matter because they certainly do. Because they certainly all make plays. But with Lamar Jackson... His impact, if he goes down, if he went down, if he was out for some reason, then things are not the same. So next time you you wonder if, oh, should Lamar Jackson really be paid? Should he get all that money? Yes, he should. And more. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please, 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 I beg of you because it is too much negativity going on in the world to wake up and be like, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be mad today gonna be angry today <laughs> how about that man it just it doesn't make any sense so please learn to lighten up it's okay to smile it's okay to laugh you know I, I had to right before I came in here to do this video me and Pookie we had just took a nap that's my golden retriever by the way we had just took a nap she's like six and a half months years I was about to say six and a half months years old wow see you can laugh at me it's okay you can get on me in the comment section about that one but um she's six months uh, I, I almost said it again. How about I say she's six months years old? She's six months and change. But anyway, woke up from the nap. I took her outside so she could pee real quick. Brought her back in. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and in, in here. And let's talk about all this Lamar Jackson stuff. Because this, I, we just got to get it off my chest. So then, but I didn't put her back in her cage. I just let her be free. So before we started this video, we walked out there to see it, and she started looking like kind of guilty. She started looking guilty, and then she started kind of running away. And then she ran into her cage. She put herself in her cage. I didn't tell her to go in there. And whenever she does that, that means that she, because she gives herself away. If I catch her doing something bad, that's one thing. But if I didn't see it, she always gives herself away. Right now, I don't know what she did. I have no clue what she did. But her body language showed me that she did something that she was not supposed to be doing. And I just, because <laughs> I'm just expecting, like, I don't want to be walking around, especially if I ain't got no socks on. I don't want to walk in no pee. I don't want to walk in no poop. And I don't think she pooped in the house. Certainly would have smelled it. And even a pee, it certainly would have been a little puddle somewhere. But she just peed outside. She shouldn't have to pee again, should she? But anyway, long story short, well, even though the long story is long, um... I ain't gonna sweat it. I ain't gonna sweat it. And we should not sweat the small stuff uh, because that's exactly what it is, it's small stuff. There's little things that can annoy you. There's little things that may tick you off. There's little things that may upset you. Uh, but I know there's that saying, don't let whether it's 10 seconds, uh, whether it's a minute, even if it's 10 minutes, don't let something for that, because it's a 24 hour day. Don't let something for 10 seconds or 10 minutes or even an hour. Don't let that one thing ruin your whole 24 hours because it's not worth it. It can be hard. It can be hard, especially if it's something that really grinds your gears. But we just got to let, let stuff go, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out. Shout out to Graven.